Blake Ballard is the Senior Manager of Enterprise Account Development at Domo. He and his team are responsible for developing new enterprise client business through prospecting, trade shows, and strategic events. Prior to Domo, Blake worked in the restaurant and hospitality industry where he provided comprehensive reporting and analytics to drive growth and reduce expense. He also spent a portion of his early career as an analyst for KLA 10 Corps. Blake loves learning about what drives success at the companies he engages and then identifying technology and automation solutions to meet and exceed those objectives. Hi everybody, I'm Blake Ballard, the Senior Manager of Enterprise Account Development, and I'm excited to talk to you about how you can visualize your data better in your sales organization. Before we talk about some of the principles that we use here at Domo, I wanted to talk about a study that Inc. released in one of their recent issues. And they talked about how sales and marketing are starting to use big data and how data is starting to influence not only marketing, but sales organizations as well. A few of the things they noticed is that large enterprises are adopting big data in predictive analytics and sales. The big data insights are also leading to more precise marketing spend. So if you work closely with your marketing department, you're probably realizing that they're getting leads and opportunities for you from various channels. Understanding which channels are performing best is becoming a bigger and bigger deal when it comes to big data. The third thing they noticed is that salespeople will actually adopt data-driven methodologies to better target their high-value prospects. We're seeing this more and more at Domo where our account executives and our account development representatives are looking for those prospects that can lead to bigger deals and better deals. Sales forecasting accuracy has always been a challenge for sales executives. Big data can help when used appropriately improve that dramatically. And last but not least, every sales leader wants to know what's happening real time with their sales. And the best way to do that is to utilize your data best. So with that said, as a foundation for the premise of our conversation today, I want to talk about how we use big data at Domo and how we enable other sales executives and sales organizations to use Domo to meet their big data needs. Before we go there, I want to talk a little bit about the key to big data success. Most of the time when we talk about big data, we're thinking about reports or we're thinking about a big database full of a lot of different columns and rows. You might be thinking about your Salesforce instance as well and how convoluted and complicated it is to build the report or get the information you need. But at the heart of big data, we need to simplify what we're actually trying to accomplish. And that's to answer a question. So you may be asking yourself, what is my cost per lead? And you need somebody to run a report on that. Or what email is driving the most engagement so that you can keep sending emails just like that one? Or what deals need the most attention today? Or what's most likely to close this quarter? Or if you're in account development, who do we need to dial and how quickly should we be dialing these people? Well, all of those are really good questions. And one of the things that I've noticed is I've worked with people outside of our organization, as well as with the leaders within my organization, is that a lot of times we have these questions, but we also need to think about the other side of the question. How will answering this question actually bring us more revenue or reduce our costs? So with that said, we may want to ask, what is my cost per lead? so that I can get the best ROI? How am I gonna use that cost per lead information? Or what email is driving the most engagement so that I can use that email to fill my sales pipeline? Or what deals need the most attention today so that we can increase our pipeline velocity? You'll notice that all of these fillers on the right are actually key business requirements within our organization. Getting a good ROI on our cost per lead, filling our sales pipeline, increasing pipeline velocity. These are the goals that we have focused on to ensure that our company gets the most value from the investment that we place into sales. So as we go throughout this presentation today and you think about your data and you think about what you're trying to drive, Beyond just thinking about those questions, I would really encourage you to think about why those questions are going to, in sales, hopefully make you more money. I want to talk a little bit about Domo and how Domo helps organizations, not just sales organizations, but all organizations, do a better job of managing their business and reducing expense and increasing revenue so that they can meet their goals. 
it's a little bit challenging at times as a sales representative to describe Domo because we've actually built five products into one platform. The first thing we do is we connect any of your business data and bring it into our platform. It's a web-based platform that can be used for many devices. The second part is taking all of that data and making sure that it's automatically and systematically being prepared on an hourly or minute or day-to-day -day basis so that it's ready to be visualized and analyzed by you the end user. The third part is making sure that this data when built into a report is very visual so that even end users can quickly understand the stories that your data is trying to tell you. The fourth part is engaging around that data and this is where we take your data to a new level making it a lot more easy for you to collaborate with other members of your organization so that you can get the best results from your data. And then the top part of our pyramid here is optimizing your data. So making it easier to discover, react and engage with your data so that you actually drive better decisions rather than just look at a pretty picture or a pretty report. I want to talk briefly about why each of these aspects to our platform are so important even for a sales organization. So first, connect. You may be using Salesforce, you may be using another CRM, but I bet that there are a lot of different places that you have data as well. You may have information in marketing campaigns that you need access to like in Eloqua or Marketo or Mailchimp. You may have quotas that are stuck in Excel that aren't tied to Salesforce. If you're working closely with marketing, you may have other systems of record that they're using to track leads. Maybe you're working with finance and you need access to the financial database like QuickBooks or Great Plains. Domo makes it easy to not only bring in your sales data but bring in any other data that you think is relevant to your sales conversations. The second thing Domo does very well is we help you prepare your data. You noticed in the slide before we talked about how we can bring in more than just your Salesforce data. Well, one of the reasons we like to do that is because if we can bring in those quotas that you have from Excel, we can actually show you all of your reps and how they're performing as a percentage of their quota by linking that Salesforce data to their quotas in Excel. So Domo does all of this in the back end so that you don't have to run a new report every day or every week or every month to see who's performing best. The third part of Domo is my favorite part and the part that usually wows our prospects most quickly and that's the visual way in which we tell stories. The human brain is wired to be very, very, very visual. In fact, it takes us less than a half a second to get a story from a visual report or visual representation of data. This is important because especially as we work with sales leaders and sales executives, they don't have time to come through Excel nor is that their forte. So being able to create meaningful visualizations that quickly show you like in this graphic that Texas something is going well, it's red hot there. That makes it very easy for us to make quicker decisions and actually move more quickly with the data. I'm going to show you Domo at the end of this presentation so that you have a better understanding of how having visualized reports can actually help you make quicker and better decisions. The fourth part is unique to Domo. There's no other big data or reporting platform that I know of that is more engaging than Domo. So within Domo, any of those reports, which I'm going to show you a few of today, can be collaborated upon. So any user that has access to Domo can start conversations within Domo. So think about the last time you had a fire drill meeting or you celebrated success. It probably started with an email that got looped in with somebody else and before you knew it there was a big long string of emails that people had to follow and read up on in order to understand what was happening. With Domo those conversations are logged and saved right on the report from which they're created. And last but not least, optimization is huge for us. I'm going to show you today in Domo how you can set custom alerts, access your data from anywhere, and really take your data to the next level. Before I move into Domo, I want to talk a little bit about my role and my team at Domo because I'm going to show you how I use Domo day to day to manage my team and not only how I use it, but actually how 
the representatives in sales that report up to me use it so that they can change the way that they do business with our end prospects and end customers. To do that, I want to talk a little bit about our business funnel. I manage a group of 45 account development managers, and the role of an account development manager at Domo is to prepare and qualify leads that can go over to account executives and account executives then work with those qualified prospects to close deals. So it's a two-part sales process here at Domo. So my team has the responsibility of combing through a massive amount of contacts and prospects and leads within our Salesforce instance. We have a lot in our Salesforce instance, and I don't know how clean your Salesforce instance is, but at times ours can get quite messy. In fact, a lot of my account development managers have more than 30,000 prospects that they're combing through at any given time to find the best. Typically what happens is those lists through marketing and through our reps are blasted emails or are reached out to about other opportunities. And we look for signals, and those signals come from the platform we use, which is Eloqua where we look for people who are clicking and opening those emails. From those signals, we ask our representatives to identify high value targets. Other targets might come from LinkedIn or from trade shows that we attend or just from a referral. But most of our targets come from those signals that we see based on email opens and clicks. Once a prospect is in target, those targets are reached out to on an individual basis with individualized emails and personalized phone calls. We have our account development managers maintain a pipeline of targets that they're constantly looking to evaluate. Once those targets engage with our account development managers, they're evaluated. We do a quick phone call of about 15 to 20 minutes where we ask them questions about how they're currently using their data. We make sure that they're qualified and that they are deserving of our account executives' time, or we help point them in the right direction if they're not. Once those evaluations take place, we create opportunities that are transferred to our account executives, and we actually, over here at Domo, continue to aid in the sales process all the way to close collaboratively with our account executives. So most of our account development managers are working with more than one account executive, but they continue to work the sales process all the way to opportunity close. Now the problem is, before we had Domo, we had to teach a rep how to build a list, how to look for marketers, or how to look for someone in finance, or how to look for somebody from one company or another. And we were teaching them how to do this with various queries within Salesforce. And if your sales representatives are anything like mine, they weren't meant to be Salesforce administrators. So before you knew it, we were teaching our reps and spending most of our coaching on how to build all of these reports and maintain them so that reps could easily see what they needed to do on a daily basis. And we found as we continue to be more and more organized, we were training and coaching more and more and more around report building and query creation. And this is not where we wanted our reps to spend the time. We wanted our reps to spend time identifying signals and going after high value targets and spending their time evaluating those targets to create opportunities. So I'm going to show you how we're now doing this in Domo. So with that said, let's go over to Domo and I'm going to show you five reports that we use to manage this process. Now we actually have more than five reports, but I wanna show you five today just to keep the message simple. And then as you see Domo, we'd invite you to obviously reach out to us and we'd love to talk to you about how Domo could work in your organization. What we do may not be best practice for your organization. And the great thing about Domo is everything you see is customizable and can be tweaked or modified to fit your business or your organization's needs. So this is Domo, and this is what we call our sales acceleration page. Now, all of our representatives that work under me have access to this page, and you'll notice that I've organized five areas of Domo that match this business funnel that I just showed you. Within each of these collections, I'm going to show you a report on how we build lists, how we identify signals, how we track our targets, how we see if we have enough evaluators, and then how many opportunities we have in pipeline. So let's start at the top. Now that we're in this building list card, I wanna talk about how an individual representative could actually use this card to identify prospects that they may want to mass email. 
in this situation, we're actually using this right now. We're preparing to attend Dreamforce, and we've identified thousands and thousands of contacts that in our database attended Dreamforce in prior years, but also titles that may indicate that they'll attend Dreamforce or locations like being on the West Coast or up in San Francisco. Typically, we've trained our reps on how to identify these by building queries and reports in Salesforce. But again, this takes our reps away from speaking with the prospects and moving them through the sales cycle. So using Domo, what we've done on the back end is identify what a target prospect for Dreamforce would actually look like and put them into a card where our reps can go through and quickly comb and identify prospects that they may want to invite to attend Dreamforce or come by our booth and the other setups that we have at Dreamforce. So a lot of what I'm gonna talk about today, I'm gonna use Andrew Lake as an example. So Andrew's one of our reps, and you'll notice in this report, Andrew has 29 prospects that may be attending Dreamforce per the criteria that we've set as management. We've made it really easy for Andrew when he clicks in to see exactly where those prospects work. Now you'll notice that this report's dynamic. So all of our reports within Domo have drill paths if you want them. And a drill path allows you to see filtered visualizations based on an area in the prior visualization that you clicked on. So when I clicked on Andrew's name, I see all 29 contacts, but now they're organized by company. If you're looking at lead score, you could have them organized by lead score. If you wanna look at a completely different metric and have the drill path different, that's totally up to you. The thing that I love about Domo is that it allows you to see what you want to see, how you want to see it, whenever you want to see it. So now that Andrew's in this report and in this drill path, he notices that 10 prospects from Kabloom may be attending Dreamforce. Kabloom's one of the accounts that Andrew and his account executive are working on penetrating. Andrew can click in here and see the names of all of these contacts and their titles as well. And you'll notice that each of those contacts have an ID that Andrew could copy and paste into Excel if he wanted to run a mass update on these contacts to identify them in the future in Salesforce. The other thing Andrew can do is quickly click into the prospect and make a change. When Andrew clicks on this, he'll be taken back to Salesforce where he can edit that contact, Jerry Wilson, quickly and efficiently within the native platform. After Andrew has sent a variety of mass emails from different lists, Andrew can see who is opening and clicking on those emails. What you're going to see on this report is three variables. So this is almost like a 3D representation of all the contacts that are engaging with Andrew Lake's mass emails. So on the x-axis, we have days since last open or days since last email open by a prospect. On the y-axis, we see days since last phone call by Andrew Lake. And then the size of the bubble is how many prospects within these accounts are actually opening and engaging with Andrew Lake's emails. So you'll notice over here, Andrew has from Kabloom a lot of prospects who recently opened emails but that Andrew hasn't reached out to recently. So this is a really good opportunity for Andrew to come in and see these prospects. And he may see here that Jerry Wilson is one of those prospects. And the nice thing about Domo is that Andrew can click and go directly to Salesforce where he can update Jerry Lake's record after he enters in his login credentials to Salesforce. So this is another really quick way that Andrew can get access into his Salesforce account and work seamlessly between the two platforms. After we've identified those signals, we reach out to these targets who are in our pipeline. This card is actually a compilation of a lot of different reports. You'll notice I have all of my reps on the left side, but I have all of the reasons that I may be reaching out to representatives. So we go to a lot of trade shows at Domo, and we're always looking to see which prospects from trade shows we need to work on. Now, our CMO also really likes us to follow up on these trade show leads. So we've created an agreement, a truce with our CMO, that she'll spend more money on trade shows if we'll dial them to expectations. So one of the things we've done with this card is we've said, if the prospect has not received a dial in the last 36 hours, it needs to show up in this report. So this doesn't require any energy from our representatives. Once we do that on the back end, it shows up into this card. 
The second is inbound leads. So again, we have an agreement with our CMO that if she spends more money on web spend, that we will dial inbound demo requests at a certain volume. Now down here below, we have a bunch of different categories that the reps have selected. So as reps noticed people from signals like Jerry Lake, they could say that they may want to do an initial reach out. And when they tag that contact and set the date for contact, it will show up in this report that's called Today's Target Next Steps. So these are all of the personalized targets that need to be reached out to today. So it makes it easy for someone like Andrew again to go in and see what's going on with his day. He has two scheduled introductions, one person he needs to invite to one of our events, two people he's identified for initial reach out, six people that requested demos, and eight trade show leads that he can follow up with. And again, Andrew can quickly drive in and see what all of those contacts are, and again, go into Jerry Wilson's Salesforce record as long as he has his Salesforce credentials and immediately use a tool like click to call from inside sales to make a dial. We've found that this has made our reps a whole lot more efficient. Now if you're anything like our organization you know that it's important to manage your representatives to a metric before the key metric that you're actually being paid on. And one of the things that we do is we measure our reps on future IQ calls. An IQ call for us is essentially a pre-discovery call. I stands for infrastructure, C challenges, U use case, and E evaluation. It's similar to BAMP methodology. We've noticed that the number of IQ calls that our reps have set up in the future is directly correlated to how many opportunities that they pass over to our account executives. And when those opportunities are accepted by our account executives, our representatives are paid. And that's how we all get paid within my organization, within my department. So it's important for us to look for those leading key performance indicators that help us understand if we're going to hit our number of accepted opportunities. So you'll notice in this report, we actually are showing all of our reps future IQs. And the goal that we want our reps to have at any given time is seven. Now a lot of times we'll manage reps and we'll say you need to have seven per month. But the thing about these IQ calls is as they're accepted by our account executives, then we have fewer future IQ calls. So we always want seven in the pipeline, similar to the same way an account executive would want to have a certain dollar value in the pipeline above their quota. They may want two or three X their quota in pipeline at all times to ensure they hit their quota. We do the same thing with these IQ calls. Now you'll notice that the way we visualized this is very differently. We're showing the reps that are above goal. So you'll notice up here, Kiona has four above target pipeline, but Andrew, who we talked about before, is three below goal. Now the nice thing about drilling into this report is we're actually gonna use a different visualization than the ones that I've shown before. And in this one, we're actually going to show all of Andrew's future IQs on a calendar. So as a manager here, I can see that Andrew has two in August, but I'm really concerned because his other two IQ calls are scheduled for September and October. That's not going to help Andrew or me hit the number that we're held to in August. And from there, I can make changes with Andrew and hopefully increase his performance with 25 days to go. Now, the other thing you might be thinking as you've looked at all of this is, this is great. I have a lot of reports already, and I actually have so many that I get overwhelmed. Well, the nice thing about Domo is we make it easy to stay on top of your reports when you set goals and when you also set alerts. So let's say next time Andrew drops below zero or any of these representatives, I just wanted Domo to notify me. I could create an alert here that says when any item here goes below zero, remember zero indicates that we're right at goal in this report, then I wanna be notified. What Domo will do when I save this alert is it will actually send me a text message and or an email so that anytime any of these reps have fewer than seven future IQ calls, I'll be notified. Maybe I want to actually delete this alert and I'm the team lead on Maisie and I'm worried about Maisie's performance, so maybe I only set the alert for Maisie. Notice that Domo gives you the ability to do this quickly 
and simply so that you can measure anything you want but also be alerted on anything that you want. The other aspect that we talked about earlier is being able to engage with your data. So in the same way that I can set these alerts, I can also let Andrew know that I'm worried about his performance. So I can open up Domo Buzz, which is available on every report. And we don't have any discussions going on right here, but I can actually mention to Andrew that I'm worried about his future IQ calls. Andrew would obviously have access to this report in a normal instance, and so I let Andrew know, hey, I'm worried about your future IQs. Anything else set up right now? Let's chat next time I walk by. And then I can keep this conversation private between just me and Andrew. And once I post this, Andrew's going to get a notification via email and text and can respond very, very quickly. Now, Andrew might actually be on the go, and if you're a different type of sales organization, you may actually do a lot of field sales, or you may have your reps travel in addition to doing inside sales. So if Andrew's on the road and he gets this text, he can actually open up our Domo app where he gets the exact same experience. He can respond to this message that I just sent, or Andrew can also drill in and see those future IQ calls and see that one that he had scheduled for October, which ones he needs to move into August and hopefully push the prospect to evaluate Domo sooner. So Mobile is another experience that we give our customers so that they can optimize their use of their data. All right, I told you that I'd share a little bit in relation to opportunities and how we track opportunities within Domo. This is different than the other four reports that you've seen, and we call this a Domo app. A Domo app is where we actually take multiple sources of information and multiple KPIs and bring them into an infographic-like experience. We used to call these lovingly Domo graphics because they're very much a collaboration of a lot of information. So you'll notice here that as a sales leader or sales executive, I can see exactly what's going on in my pipeline really quickly. But if I wanted to evaluate all of my reps in one place or do quarterly business reviews or monthly reviews with my reps, I could use something like an all rep scorecard. So again, we call this an app and the purpose of this app is to give us a really clean experience to manage and to look at multiple layers of data and multiple KPIs all in one place. What you're gonna see here is a variety of metrics along the top of the chart and along the top of the chart, you're gonna see that we could have put these in multiple reports or multiple cards. So if I'm responsible for Aaron or Adam, I can see how they're doing across various metrics. So let's look at Amory. Amory's at 90K in sales for the month, 51% of quota attainment, has only won one deal, has a pretty decent conversion rate, and has an average deal size of 90K. Sell cycle is a little bit slow at 27 days. And where I'm really concerned about Amory as her manager, when I look at this report, is that Amory has been here 256 days. So when I look at this, I say Amory's not really moving at the potential that we'd want her to. And I'm able to do this with all of my reps so that I can see all of this information and compare them across a variety of metrics. We found this to be very, very helpful when we evaluate the performance of our reps. A lot of times we only look at one metric and we ignore the fact that our representatives are good at other metrics. We've used this to understand from our representatives, hey, how are you getting a bigger average deal or how are you closing the sales cycle? This helps us understand a lot more quickly so that we can identify reps, strengths, and their weaknesses a lot more quickly. I wanna thank you for seeing this demo of Domo. Like I said, Domo's fully customizable and can be used in a variety of situations. I understand that your sales organization probably isn't set up exactly like ours. So what we'd love to do next is show you a demo that's customized to you on how you could use Domo in the way that you're driving your business. Thanks for joining and have a great day.